I've been asked many times, um, why do I practice common law? Why do I practice personal injury law? Uh, why am I a lawyer? And um, now that I'm 57 and pretty much into my career for over 30 years, I get a chance to reflect on that thought quite a lot. Because I guess I'm getting more towards the end of my career than the beginning of career. And I'm wondering, what have I done over 30 years and why have I done it? What has motivated me for over 30 years to advocate for people and try to get them compensation? Where in the past that I get infected by this wonderful drive to help someone day in, day out? And so when I've had a chance to look back at my background and look at the things that have influenced me, I kind of sense that I've experienced a bit of hardship and difficulties at times. And I realize that most of it I've had to struggle through on my own and figure things out on my own. Where, if I had someone along the way, especially at times, like even a lawyer, I would have probably had a vastly more improved outcome. Not that life is too bad now, but it could have been really quite interesting. I start with the simple facts that my dad died when I was 16 years old. In circumstances where, on reflection and knowing the things I know now, he probably died because of someone's negligence in a hospital. We, we were immigrants at the time, recently coming to the United States from Cuba, where my family was originally from, had no idea what to do at that time other than to just survive. The idea of looking for compensation or holding a hospital accountable for their actions was not in our minds. We just moved on, and that's what we did. And I moved on, but I moved on without much of a mentor or a guider. So I made a lot of difficult decisions during those years. I was in high school, going on to college, going on to law school eventually, trying to figure out where I want to go and what I wanted to do. But I was fortunate. There were very nice people along the way, very hardworking people who gave me an insight of what it means to survive day in, day out. And they have probably motivated me to this day about what it means to survive day in, day out, and to be able to live your life enjoyable. So when I look back at my time as a lawyer and what motivated me, it was probably those moments in time when someone along the way gave me some advice, gave me some indication of where I should go. Most, mostly, the guy who put me on to personal injury law early on in my career. I tried doing a bit of work for criminals, to try a bit of work in family law. But when I got to personal injury, it felt like my soul was finally released. I got to help people in a system that's designed to help them if it actually does what it's supposed to do. It moves money from an insurance company to a person who deserves it. And I just facilitate it. I make it happen. I use all of my intelligence, all of my skills to help that injured person get access to the compensation they deserve. And I think that on reflection, that's not a bad way to live my life. Thank you.